The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi, everyone. It's Karen Martin, and I'm so excited to be here to give you a little tour of our brand new TKMG Academy. It's been a long time in the making, and we're very thrilled with what we've ended up with, and um, some of the early feedback has been just really gratifying and positive, and um, just very excited to share this with you all. I'd like to start with a sound check, just to make sure everyone can hear me loud and clearly. You have a, a little hand icon that you can use to raise your hand if you have a question. Could you all please just click on that and let me know that you're hearing me loud and clear? Lee? <laughs> All right, awesome. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put everyone's hands down. It sounds like the connection's good. Um, in these COVID days, my neighborhood happens to be very, very dense with a lot of children, and my internet has just been you know, a snail uh, compared to normal. So um, hopefully we won't have any experiences during the webinar, but it has been kind of tricky at times, as I'm sure many of you are experiencing as well. And speaking of that, I hope you're all staying safe. And, you know, we'll get through this. It'll be one of those things where we emerge far stronger, I believe, than we entered into this. And we're certainly learning a lot. We're flexing our innovative muscles a lot. So there are some silver linings, even though it's a pretty tragic situation globally. Um, I do think that it's interesting that this is one of the first times that we've had something hit the entire world. I mean, every country has been affected. Um, and I think that that um, right there will bring together some or bring some interesting learning about how we can. We're all one. You know, we're not different. We're really all one. Um, and uh, no, no one's immune from this one. So at least not yet. Right. Um, so let's get going. Let's get into the academy. I love to start first with just a really quick story about uh, my own mental models and my the psychology that I was experiencing as I was thinking about online learning. So I was teaching at UCSD. University of California, San Diego in the lean program. And they wanted us to go online with the courses. And I said, oh, heck no, can't be done. You know, we have to do this in person and, you know, we, we have to have people in the same room. And, you know, I was, you know, pretty down on the idea and I wasn't alone. Most of the instructor pool was down on it. And then, you know, I, life went on and people kept saying to me, hey, why don't you offer some online workshops, you know, so that we can, you know, multiple people from around the globe can attend these workshops. I'm like, nah, I don't think it can be done. You know, and I have a master's in education with an emphasis in adult learning. So quality of education is a really big deal to me. And I just kept thinking, no, it, it can't be done. Well, I was giving webinars monthly, and thank you for those of you that are on who I see recognize names from 2009 when we had our first monthly webinar start. It's just amazing. It's been that long ago. And after one of the webinars about five years ago, I got similar emails from a guy in Zimbabwe and a woman in Estonia, and they both said the same thing. More or less, they said, look, you know, we're in countries that don't have a lot of conferences that we can go to. We don't have access to a lot of, you know, in-person training and workshops and things like that. And our companies aren't necessarily on the cutting edge of improvement. And we want to learn from you. We love your learning. We love how you break things down. We want to learn from you. Please, please, please do something more and go online. Well, that was the first time I was like, all right, you know, I've got to figure out a way to do this because it is true that there are lots of different corners of the earth that don't have access to learning the way that we do here in the U.S. and Europe does and some of the other industrialized countries. So I started thinking about it, but I was also busy with clients and growing the, the consulting side of the business and those kinds of things. It was last January 2019 um, that I said, OK, I'm going to do it. I'm going to finally do it. I've been thinking about this too long. And that's when we started in earnest uh, building the academy. And it was quite a journey because there are so many ways to deliver online learning and so many different um, approaches for it that we had to figure out what we felt would fit the best for us. And so I hope we've selected wisely. So let's get to it. I would like to be able to give you a tour first of our website. And what we'll go through is just a, a quick review of the, uh, the main navigation menu and how you can, what other resources are available there besides the online learning. And we'll also go through a tour of the learning platform. So this is where you actually view the courses, take the exams, et cetera. And um, we'll you know, go through just a little bit of a test drive or a, a tour of, of that learning platform. 
And then I'd like to talk a little bit about earning credentials because we've tried to set up something a little differently here. And one of the, one of the things that's a little different is that we've got these ach achievement badges. I'll share a lot more about that as we go on. Uh, but we've just had really a, a fun time designing these badges and deciding you know, how, what people are going to do with them and what do they mean in the online learning community. And um, they are you know, nice, validated um, proof of, of learning that um, we'll share a little bit more about that later. And then we also have a certificate of completion for every course, which is numbered with a unique number for each learner, dated and signed. So that uh, becomes another way to validate your learning and your commitment to learning. Um, and then we'll talk about getting started and I'll take your questions. Now, one thing about questions, I do like to take questions throughout the webinar. Um, and I'm, oh, by the way, I'm actually just noticed that some people are saying they don't have audio. Um, could you all do me a favor, please, and raise your hand again if you do have audio? Okay. All right. Well, it looks like quite a few of you do. Three, the three people that, well, I guess they won't be able to hear me say that others are having audio. Um, so I don't... Mm, Austin, if you can hear me, if you can, I don't know if you can access the control panel, but if you can, can you answer these folks and let them know that others do have sound and I, I, they just maybe need to log back in again or something? All right, let's go ahead and get going. So on the website, I'd like to just uh, end this here and go to the website now. What you'll find is we've got the main navigation menu, just like most sites have. And then as you scroll down, oh, actually, right here, there's a, a preview courses. If you want to jump right into the courses, you can jump right from the hero on the home page. And if we take a, a little scroll down, you'll see that we have a buy two, get one free special right now. Um, so you can either buy three, you know, all at once, and one of them is free. Or if you only want two right now and you want to save that voucher for a third course once we load maybe a topic that's not there yet that you're interested in, then you get a code and you can use that later. So either way, you'll get that third course free. And then in terms of... Um, the overview video that I've got, this gives a little history to the Academy and you know, just a little bit more about you know, why I feel like this is an important step in TKMG's history and where we're heading in the future. So I encourage you to take a look at that if you'd like. And then in terms of the courses, we've got featured courses on the home page and each one of these have a quick look where you can just flip back if you just want a really quick idea of what that course is about. And then you can also go straight to a longer course overview, which I'll share with you in just a minute if you'd like. And then continuing on down, just a little bit about the badges. And then if you click on learn more, you can see um, a lot more in terms of the, uh, the badges, uh, the different offerings we've got. You'll see badges here. We've, we've launched with four courses, daily management systems, plan, do, study, adjust, problem solving, standard work, and value and waste. Uh, but we do have others in queue, and so you'll see some badges that are for up and coming courses. And then we have an area for the academy instructors. We've got four instructors so far, and you can take a look at their bio and the, all the courses that they teach. And of course, you know, as we grow the library, you'll have more and more courses that each teacher is, um, is giving. Uh, so let me just take a quick um, quick look here. Audio works well with using headset computer versus call-in. Suggest try both options. Um, thanks, Janelle. That's a great suggestion. I, I'm worried because I'm not sure that people will be able to hear us, uh, even give them that that uh, idea. So rejoin if no, no audio. You know, um, these online you know, internet system, Zoom, go to meeting, go to webinar, they're being challenged in profound ways because they've never been designed to handle the volume they're, they're taking on right now. So I think they're doing a pretty good job given the volume, but I'm, they are spotty at times. All right, then carrying on down to the footer, we've got quick links just like everybody has on their site. And then one thing I want to point, you, point out is there's a login here. That's the login to the learning platform. So once you've bought a course, then you'll receive an email with a link to the course. And the first time you access those courses on the learning platform, you will have to create a password and that'll be your login. So you can always just jump straight from the homepage to the login area if you'd like. 
And then also we're in the era of data privacy, and so if you're curious about any of our terms of use or privacy policy and cookie policy, you can click on that and get access to that. And then you can send us an email if you'd like any kind of information or have any suggestions for us. So I want to go back up um, and take a look at the menu. Let's start with looking at what the course area has. So in the course area, we have an area of the featured courses, which this is the first four courses that we launched with, as I mentioned earlier. And then we've got a coming soon section. And you know, co the COVID situation has definitely put a bit of a monkey wrench into our launch plans. Um, we were supposed to launch three months ago and we were perfecting some of the technology. And so we were a little bit late in launching and decided not to wait until everyone was back in quote normal because we don't believe normal is gonna come back for quite a while. 100%. Um, and so we do have 5S in queue, and that one will be launched before we can get back to the studio. Unfortunately, all these other ones are in queue, uh, waiting for us to be able to get back to the studio to film them. So I, you know, we're hoping for May. Um, it's probably going to be more like June or July before we can get back into the studio. Studios in Los Angeles, so um, you know that they're being very, very cautious there. So I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. Um, and then you can go to a quick look there also if you want to. And then you can also um, just you know, click on it if you want the description of the course. So let's go to the effect of featured. And then let's take a look at the instructors page. Actually, no, let's do a course overview. Let's take a look at that. So on the course page, you'll see a description about the course. Um, and then if you scroll down, you'll see some uh, learning objectives. And then there's a course preview video that has the first one to two minutes of every course if you just want to sample it before you dive in with the purchase. Um, and then you can take a look at the badge you'll earn. And then there's a link to the instructor in case you, you know, fall in love with an instructor and want to take more courses by him or her. You can link on that. Um, and if you're wondering, I'll probably be pretty equal in terms of the ones I offer and, and deliver versus the ones that the rest of the team offers. It's not going to be, you know, 80% Karen and 20% everybody else. It's going to be pretty even. The other thing I want to point out is up here you can see the full length of the course if you were to watch it uninterrupted how many lessons it's broken into. So the lessons are you know, anywhere from four minutes to I think the longest is 10 minutes. Then we try to get them around five, six, somewhere around there, minutes long. And then how many downloads are available. So each course has at least one worksheet, template, um, summary document, check, checklist, something like that to augment learning. And then some of them have you know, up to four or five downloads, actually, in this case. Um, so they could do that. And then what you'll see here is you could buy the course. That puts the course into your shopping cart up here. And then whenever you're ready to check out, you can click the checkout button. And then one thing I wanted to point out is you see is this tax area it says taxes will be calculated at checkout. Many people aren't aware that there is this really rapidly changing uh, landscape out there with sales tax in relationship to virtual products. So it used to be, you know, it had to be a physical product to be taxed at the state sales tax level. And this is in the U.S. only. This is not global. Uh, but now they are, some states are starting to tax virtual products. And some states are quite aggressively taxing. So um, there is tax in some cases, depends on where you live. Since we're based in Texas, any customer in Texas pays a state sales tax. So then I just want to show you um, one thing that you'll see. I'm just going to make up a name here. I'm going to be Susan Jackson today. <laughs> and let's see. I'm going to say United States. Yeah, sure. And I'm going to say one, two, three, fourth. And then I'm going to say I'm in ABC town. <laughs> In Texas, and let's do 72106. I'm not even sure if that's a valid. So, Susan Jackson, I just want to show you this validation thing because people have been like, what is that about? At tkmgacademy.com. Now, validate address, watch what happens. So it's going to say an exact street match cannot be found because I made it up. But the validation is because of state sales tax law. And so you will have to go through this process the first time of validating your address so that it knows whether it needs to tax you or not. 
So that's what that's about. And then it'll show you the order. You can pick any means of, of payment. If you have Apple Pay, it auto-populates with Apple Pay as an option. It knows that somehow. <laughs> Don't know how, but it somehow knows that you've got Apple Pay, and uh, you can use that. Okay, so that's the purchasing process. And again, you can do buy two and get one free just by you know loading all three into your cart. And then when you check out, one of them is showing at $0. All right, let's go to the instructors. Um, let's go to Brent. So on the instructor page, you see a very brief bio. Uh, one of the things that differentiates us is the, the degree of experience we've all got. Everyone has worked in improvement and everyone has held leadership roles within organizations for 20 plus years. Um, so we all have deep, deep, deep experience in applying this information. We are all also working consultants. So we aren't just teachers and authors and things like that. We are working consultants with full client loads and we are, you know, actively practicing and applying this content in multiple industries. We're not just one industry shop. Uh, we work in pretty much every industry. I think the only thing we haven't done is um, bus and air travel and train travel, I think is about the only thing uh, that we haven't worked in at least once. Um, so you can do that. And then again, once we have lots of courses under our belt, then you'll see you know, this list of all the courses that, for example, Brent is teaching in case you really want to follow Brent. All right, let's move on now to resources. We've got some free resources on the site as well. So you're welcome to listen to a whole variety of podcasts that are on a various, you know, various subjects um, over the years. Um, they're, they're pretty much updated every six months or so of all the podcasts. Um, these are primarily of the podcasts I've given and interviews as well. So you can take a look at all the different interviews that we've got. And then if you're interested in, let me go back to all. Sorry, go back. Oh, resources, sorry. Wrong click. There we go. Uh, you can also, if you're interested in buying a book to augment your learning, you can do that as well there. And we will eventually be loading a full library of all types of books that we feel are, are good for augmenting learning. Our FAQ section has six major categories. And so those categories you see here, um, different you know, questions you might have. You can also search on the website. You see this little search um, magnifying glass up here. You can search for a topic if you'd like, and it'll pull up the FAQ if we've got one. I'm going to go ahead and click on the earning credentials one because I want to show you a little bit about the badges. So here's information on the certificate that you get and where you go to download that certificate. There's a couple different places you can go. And then the achievement badges, what, what is this badge thing? So we've partnered with a company known as Credly, and they have a platform that's called Acclaim, and they are a validation organization. So they validate credentials, and that's becoming a big deal. There's a lot of fraud that's been going on in the whole world of people saying that they have, um, that they've accomplished courses that they haven't, and they've had, you know, they have achievements that they haven't. So this validates everything because we're pushing directly to them the fact that you really did earn this, um, and it really is valid. And I'll show you that in just a bit when we get through the website here. So when you go on that site, it's free. You don't have to pay anything. You just register once. And then if you're earning badges through any other learning organization, all of your badges will be in one place. So badging is becoming, you know, kind of a common way or an increasingly popular way in addition to having a certificate of completion, these achievement badges are um, kind of a new thing. So you do have to get a score of 70% or higher on the final exam in order to get both the certificate and the badge. And you can't get either unless you have at least 70% or greater. And then you can also put it on your LinkedIn profile. We have some, some uh, instructions here. Plus, it's on the Credly site how you can add it to your LinkedIn profile under the, what is it, the licenses and certifications section. Okay, so then the other thing that we've got here is you can uh, hop to the TKMG consulting site if you'd like to from, uh, from that link. You can subscribe to the site here, uh, to TKMG Academy here. Uh, both 
when you subscribe on either site, either the consulting site, tkmg.com, or the academy, tkmgacademy.com, you go on the same list. So you can um, subscribe either place. And then this, is, again, is the login that takes you to the learning platform. So let's go ahead and click to the learning platform. Actually, I think, yeah, let's go to the learning platform. So when you click to the learning platform, when you're logged in, you go directly to your dashboard. And so this dashboard shows any course that you've bought and which ones you've completed, which ones are in progress, which ones you haven't started at all. In my case, I have completed value and waste. And so let's go ahead and click to value and waste and I'll show you what that looks like. So this is the course page and it shows I'm 100% complete. And then if you notice here, it has a listing of all of the modules that are in the, the course. So I don't remember exactly how long this one was, but I think it was one hour and 11 minutes or something like that. And so what you'll notice here is that each lesson, as we call them, has both a CC and a non-CC title, CC standing for closed captioning. So we have closed captioning options for those of you that either you know, want to view it in silence and you don't want to have audio on or you forgot your headset or whatever. And then also for those where English isn't the primary native language, it's helpful sometimes to both see the words and hear them. I know I can read French a whole lot more than I can hear it or, spe or speak it. Excuse me. <clears throat> So that's a, a nice feature we've got. Eventually, they're adding a closed caption option to this platform the way YouTube has, but it's just not there yet. The, we decided to go with the number one platform uh, that handles high volume, but even they are not quite there yet to having the closed captioning available. After each lesson is a quiz. The quizzes are not mandatory. They're just there to help you if you'd like to just test your knowledge and see that you're progressing. They're there for that. And then it goes all the way down to the final exam. Again, that is mandatory to take and get at least a 70% on that final exam in order to receive the certificate and the badge. Um, that's considered to be you know, the final thing that means you completed the course. And then we have a course feedback that we encourage people, please, 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 we love feedback and we are continuous improvement freaks. <laughs> so we are, you know, really wanting to hear and we've been already making little tweaks here and there as we're getting feedback from people and it's been really good feedback. Um, thankfully, no major bugs, but just little things that'll make the learner experience even, even better. Um, so it's only three questions. The first question is like, what's your overview, your overall rating? And the second question is, you know, would you refer it to anyone? And we feel that that's a, a very telling question. And then the third question is just free text where you can add in any ideas, you know, concerns, questions, anything that you want. So we encourage you to use that. All right, you also notice at the top you've got downloads. So here you can see the course downloads. Uh, there, some of them are PDF, some of them are Word, some of them are Excel. On the standard work course, we've got four uh, Excel files that are downloads that are you know usable templates that you can use and then here you can also find your achievements and so once you're done with the course you can always come back you can download your certificate from here it's in PDF and then you can put it anywhere you would like on your hard drive the achievements are also accessible from the top of the screen and when you click on them there then you can download your certificate and you can view your badges but that's all you can do on this site you need to go to credly in order to actually you know get them validated and be able to print them and i'll show you that in just a minute um, also you can click back to the faq page on our site from here and you can also click to the buy courses from here all right so now i'm going to go back to dashboard and then we're going to go and actually view a course. So let's go to let's go to Jennifer. We're going to continue the course. You can see these courses over and over. Oops, I'm sorry. You can see the courses over and over. Um, we don't have an expiration date on our courses. Some people have a six month or a one year expiration. We don't have that. So you can uh, have unlimited access as long as it's an active course. Once you click into a module, you're now in the, the uh, video player, and you'll see the three lines up here. Here you get the same list of modules, so you can access it either from the course page or from the video player. Same exact list of items. 
Um, when you're in the video player, you've got a pause button. You've got a fast rewind for 10 seconds if you want to hear something again. And then over here, you've got the ability to change the resolution or the quality of the picture in the event you have poor Wi-Fi or it's being you know funky um, because of the load. You can go to lower medium resolution or you can stick with high definition, which of course occupy you know, takes a little more bandwidth to get uh, that high resolution to play well. And then the mute button is over here as well. So as you go through the course, I'm not going to, you can't hear it because um, I didn't click in the audio, but as you go through the course, what you'll see is that we've decided to do instructor on camera, and then eventually you get to what we call on screen with instructor animation to either, you know, show key points or define terms or that type of thing. And then if we keep going, we have what we call full screen with voiceover, where it's um, something that we want to have more uh, real estate to show the animation, and then the instructor is doing voiceover. Uh, hang on a second, let me get to something a little more. There we go. So it has that type of thing. You can hide this at any time if you want to go to a full screen, and you can also click to full screen there um, if you want to have full screen. And then I'm just going to escape. And I'm going to go back, and that's pretty much the video monitor. It's, it's pretty intuitive. So now what I'm going to do is exit out. And now I'm going to show you what happens when you earn a badge. So when you earn a badge, if you've registered, you'll get an email, and it'll, it'll, it'll invite you to come and register with Credly by Acclaim, or Acclaim by Credly, and it's free, like I said, you just sign up and then you have access to a dashboard. Any badge you earn from any learning organization, if they're affiliated with Credly, will show here. And in the case of mine, let's see, what I want to do here is... Click in here. Here you can share your badge. So what you have an option to do is share it on quite a few you know, different social media platforms. You can either in LinkedIn add it to your profile or you can just share it on a news feed or you can do both. You can also email it to someone. You can get a hyperlink that you can use wherever you want to for it. There's an embed code if you happen to want to embed it, if you have your own website or something like that. And then you can download it. And when you download it, you can change the size of it. So you can get it whatever size you want, and then you can print it. So you can do whatever you want with that badge. You can hang them on your cubicle in your office, whatever, whatever you'd like. Then I'm going to go back for a second. Let me go back to dashboard. Actually, no, let me go to your profile. So on your profile, then this will show, you don't have to put a picture, but this shows, you know, a little bit about you. And this is a public profile. So this is where if you want someone to go in and actually be able to validate your learning, you would give them your link to your profile. And then at this point, when you, oops, I'm sorry, I did the wrong thing there. Whoops, hang on. When you click on the badge, up here is a verify button. And when you, the person from the public, when they verify it, then they're able to see exactly when you took the course and, and really know that this is the real deal, that you actually, you know, did, you did do what, you're say you're, what you say you're doing. Um, so they can verify it like that. It shows what you had to do in order to earn that. And I think that is it. Uh, yeah, one more thing about that. This is pretty unique. This this is a newish system, and it's pretty unique that there's this um, you know verifiable way to make sure that you indeed passed the course and you did take it. All right, so now I'm going to go back to the website, and I am going to let me just I'm looking at my list to make sure I covered everything. I have a checklist here. We love checklists. I think I covered everything. Yes, I did. So now what I'd like to do is show you, oh, go Army. Thank you, Chuck. <laughs> um, I'd like to take you to, this is the first time I'm doing this. There's a new technology they've got where I can play a video for you. So I am going to now try to play the instructor montage for you. Love to get your feedback on this. All right, here we go.
I would love to hear your feedback on that. Uh, we, we had a fun time putting that together. Um, so let me just squeeze back. Okay, there we go. So we're back to the website again. Um, so I think that's all I wanted to cover. And I would love to just now open it up for your questions, comments, feedback, you know, anything that you're curious about. Um, let me see. I do see one question. This Oh, lots of questions coming in. Thank you. All right. So here's the first one. You will probably cover this. However, are these courses intended for one person? Oh, thank you. All right. Let me actually go to this. And back here. Whoops. No, I didn't want to do that. Sorry. Back here. Whoop. There we go. All right. So we do have uh, two ways to get started. So one is individual learning, and that's where you buy one license for one course, one person is viewing it. The licenses, uh, you know, when you do buy a course, it is just for one license. And then there's two different types of group learning where, for example, you could have one person that wants to buy a course for the full team, but everyone's remote, and so they're going to view it on their own. So that's one way to go about it. And right now, people just you know email me when they want to do that because it depends on the volume, what we're doing pricing-wise, and price drops for larger volumes. The other thing is, and this probably won't happen until after you know the social distancing has passed, if it ever passes, um, the going into one conference room and projecting it on a screen, that's a multiple license situation as well. And so that's possible as well, that we will do bulk pricing for multiple licenses for a group like that. What I think would be nice, especially during this COVID area, is for some of you to create an achievement club, kind of like a book club. You can call it whatever you'd like to, but it's an online learning club where you buy a group of, of people, buy a course, everyone views it, and then you, you know, come together and talk about it. And for a couple of weeks, I'm going to offer my services to come in on a Zoom call for 30 to 60 minutes, your choice, and answer questions and maybe delve into some of the topics more deeply and that type of thing. So it needs to be for a group of five or more that are buying it um, all at once. And then, you know, I'm happy to give my time as just a, a nice little bonus to get started and, you know, get your feet wet with the Academy. So let me know if you have any interest in that. Um, okay, next question. Uh, what's the format of the exams, i.e. multiple choice? So, yes, they are either true, false, or multiple choice. And then there's also fill in the blank, which is a multiple choice type. You know, it's a blank, and then there you have A, B, C, D. Um, so, yes, it, that's what it is. It's not, uh, there's no free form on the exam. The only free form text is in the uh, feedback form. Okay, note, if you buy all four, it doesn't let you get the one for free. You have to buy three to get one free. Can you adjust this? Oh, I, d I have not heard that. That is not good. Yes, we will adjust that. So buy four, no one free. That's interesting. Okay, um, I thought we tested that. So I am so sorry, Murray. I will get on that right away, and hopefully it will be fixed by the end of today. Okay, next question. What if we have 30 to 40 learners over 12 months who might want to take these? So the courses never expire, so you don't have to worry about, you know, any kind of a time limitation on it. We are going to eventually have a subscription program, but the, you know, we didn't do it yet because the library is, you know, fairly small. We launched we launched with just four courses. So, um, you know, Gail, you can just drop me an email and let's just talk about um you know, which way you want to go with this group purchase type of option, um, I'd be happy, happy to do that. Okay, next question. Um, do we offer black belt training? Nope, we are not a belt, a belt operation. Um, you know, we just, we don't offer belts. And you can go into the FAQs to hear a little bit about our philosophy and why we don't offer belts. There's a, a section there about certifications and, um, you know, that the challenge, I'll just tell you really quickly, the challenge that we have is that while it looks good on a resume and it, it shows that someone has at least taken a course, it really doesn't reflect, you know, capability. Um, we, like we've met you know, black belts that really had, you know, very little understanding about some of the, uh, the basic principles, especially in lean management. And we've met people that have never taken a certification or a belt or anything that are just 
geniuses when it comes to improvement and just brilliant improvement leaders and everything in between. So I just, it's just something that I, you know, again, I have this master's in adult learning and I, I get kind of prickly about making sure that people are properly representing what they're capable of. And I just, it's just some, it's just a bias, you know, but it's my bias and I've had it for my whole life. <laughs> so it's probably not going away at this point. Um, I think they're very helpful when it comes, you know, for people to know that at least someone has been through a program, but no, we don't have any intention of, of offering that at this point. At what learning level is the ideal course attendee? Well, great question. So what we're finding, all of these topics that we're launching with and many of the topics that we'll be offering coming forward are topics that have been around for a while. But when, especially I want to talk about lean management and that movement, when lean management hit U.S. soil especially, it was, you know, there was a certain amount of knowledge known about what Toyota was doing and how it was being successful as it related to these principles, practices, and tools. What we learned over the coming decades was that there was a whole lot more to the story than what we first heard. And we also learned, for example, how to think about what waste looks like in a non-manufacturing environment. And it's taken a while to get really clear about what waste does look like and how it impacts an organization that isn't necessarily, you know, manufacturing. And so the courses that we're putting out now are our current state understanding and our current view of all these different topics. So even if you learned something 10 years ago, I'm pretty sure you're going to learn something or maybe 10 things new in each course because learning has been evolving. In the standard work course, for example, we go through SDCA, Standardized Do, Check, Act, which hasn't gotten a lot of airplay, and yet it's something that is very, very important when you're first establishing standards. Um, in the DMS course, Daily Management Systems, we talk, for example, about the importance of having a dedicated section on the daily management board for area readiness. And you know, to be honest, I was quite a doubting Thomas when I first heard about the power of area readiness. I thought it was only appropriate in a physical environment with physical work. I couldn't have been more wrong. I mean, it is so powerful in every setting. So that's something that was new to all of us you know, about maybe three years ago. And I don't think the whole world knows about that yet. So we've sprinkled in new information into even these foundational appearing courses. Um, so I hope you'll you give them a try, even if you you know feel like you're pretty advanced. I, I, I do think that you'll learn something pretty profound in each course. Um, the other thing I want to say is the there's been a lot of pressure to create some kind of a hierarchy and say, first start with this, then go to this course, then go to this course, then go to this course. And, you know, we tried. We really did try to create some sort of a recommended pattern for beginners or for advanced people to go and experience these courses. And we decided not to do it because it, there's so many elements to – for example, daily management systems, it seems kind of foundational and, and easy as far as the concept, but it's wickedly difficult to get it to really stick in an organization. So it seems like a beginning course, but it actually requires advanced facilitation and organizational psychology skills to get it to actually work. So that's why we decided not to have a hierarchy in the courses. And we view it more like a jigsaw puzzle where you need this piece and that piece and this piece and that piece. And then you, you know, build this repertoire of practices and skills and mindsets that then create an outstanding organization. Okay, so I'm looking at the time. We've got five more minutes. Let me do some more here. Um, do you envision that the courses will become modules or elements for a certificate or something like, say, after you complete X number of electives? Yes, we have been thinking about that. In fact, we've been thinking about having different tiers um, based on certain criteria that we're still kind of playing around with. So I do think, you know, we're, we're a bit um, hesitant to do anything quite yet until we get the library built. And once we get, say, 10 courses in the library, then we have a little more freedom. I also think that's pretty likely that we're going to have packages of similar topics. So, for example, you could get, you know, maybe metrics-based process mapping and value stream mapping and maybe standard work together or things like that. I, we envision possibly packaging things together with kind of like topics. 
Um, we're also trying, and I don't know if you noticed this or not, we're trying to um, not follow one path. And I don't know if we're going to do industry specific content yet. We're debating that right now. Uh, I, my concern about industry specific topics is that then people think that things don't apply to them when really these principles and the, the mindsets and the behaviors apply to every industry. So I'm not quite sure where we're going to land on that. Um, but I do, I do think that um, there are like topics that make sense to put together as long as people don't think that that's all there is to the story, if that makes sense. There's, there's a lot more out there. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else? Let me see if I got all the questions. Anyone else have any other questions? Oh, will there be a problem registering if you're not in the U.S.? No. In fact, believe it or not, since we launched uh, two Thursdays ago, actually two weeks ago today, half of our purchases have been from outside the U.S., which just thrills me to no end that the globe is responding and um, enjoying enjoying the courses so thank you globe and thank you us people too <laughs> so that's very nice um all right i think i don't see anything else coming if you have any other questions raise your hand i'm going to put all the hands down that were residual raise your hand and then i'll okay if you're still typing raise your hand and i will hold on for one second okay i see people typing Okay, um, how does your program relate to excellence frameworks like Baldrige? Oh, good question. So here's how I view Baldrige. I view Baldrige as a wonderful framework for thinking through everything that you need to be doing as an organization, but it, it doesn't really have that tactical or even the strategic um, execution model tied to it. So these courses are absolutely in support of the same kinds of framework thinking that Baldrige encourages organizations to do. So I think it's a great compliment. Um, and it's the practical. We're, we're very practical people. You know, like we are not just theorists sitting on a, in an academic setting, like trying to you know, pontificate about what should be happening. We're out there getting our hands dirty and you know, applying this work in all types of settings. And so we've tried very hard in these courses to give very actionable, practical advice that, you know, that something like the Baldrige framework can't possibly do, it, it, or at least it doesn't right now. So I think it'd be a great compliment. I hope you consider service or government cases. There's a need for this. The market is flooded with healthcare cases. Yes. So we, in doing the examples in the courses, we have tried to draw from all industries. You know, there are definitely um, a fair number of healthcare examples, but there are a lot of service sector examples. Um, you know, and some of the examples are industry agnostic that they apply in any kind of a transactional environment, for example. Um, so you, I think you'll be fine, you know, that there, we try really hard to speak to everyone in the courses. How long, how often will the courses be updated? Greetings from Mexico. Hello, Mexico. Well, you know, I think it's going to be a matter of whether there's new content, that, the new learnings that happen in the industry, um, or new technology. I think, you know, I think the visual, uh, look and feel to courses, you know, changes over time and then to keep it visually up to date. Um, I look back at some of my old webinars, I cringe because it was back when the format was four by three instead of 16 by nine and you know, a lot of bullet points instead of images and things like that. So, you know, we will definitely keep fresh. I promise you that. Um, is there an overview of that jigsaw puzzle you mentioned? <laughs> um, Interesting. That's a really good idea. Thank you, Erica. Uh, let me, I'm making a note. Jigsaw course. My mother will be happy. She's living with me temporarily during COVID and we have put together now dozens of jigsaw puzzles. Um, okay. Thank you. That's a good question. All right. Um, one last question, then we'll go ahead and close it. What are all the topics you are planning to bring together? Uh, uh, wow, uh, it, it's a long list. Uh, we are going to be doing some courses on metrics and measurement, some courses on, <coughs> excuse me, just general flow, you know, how to achieve flow, uh, courses on specific kinds of analytical tools, courses on psychology, leadership, 
Uh, we we plan on being a pretty broad spectrum, you know, business performance improvement. Hopefully, your learning destination. We hope we earn your your faith and your trust and your your business. So um, I, this has been just really wonderful. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. Please, you know, I welcome all of your feedback and ideas and suggestions, and um, just really excited to have you dig in and give us a try. So I'll leave with this slide. Um, if, if you want to, you know, contact us on social media, please, you know, feel free to invite me to link with you if you haven't yet. Um, we're on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, you, you name it, and um, and Instagram. We're just starting. I'm I'm a neophyte on Instagram, so we're trying. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great uh, day or evening wherever you are, and um, thank you. Appreciate your time. Bye bye.